This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the undercard press conference here for Dubois Joyce, April the 11th at the O2. Fighting on that card, the big man. David, how are you, mate? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm all good. Um, yeah, great card for you to be on. Yeah, no, most definitely. I was saying earlier, I mean, the fact that I'm experiencing these sort of big hall shows now makes it easy for my career later on. It's an experience I've all been, I love being a part of. Absolutely. Have you ever a little bit of time now to kind of reflect on your debut and were you ultimately pleased with everything that kind of happened? Pleased with the, um, with the turnout and the actual win. But I mean, my performance, I kind of washed my work a bit. I could have done more, could have done, could have done a, a bit more things. I didn't need to wash it as much, but I mean, I only get one debut, so I tried to make a statement. So, yeah. It's always more of an anticipation of your debut. It's not really kind of a true reflection. Everyone's eager to please and you're obviously eager to get a knockout and, and crowd please a little bit as well. So now you can kind of just focus on rounds and actually getting that experience. Yeah, no, no doubt. I mean, my, my next performance will be way more classier. I'll be more relaxed and whatever you know. I won't need to wash my work as much. I think everyone knows I can kind of bang now, so, yeah. We'll come on to uh, kind of, yeah, your time out in Las Vegas, obviously, which was uh, very beneficial to your, obviously, your career, but obviously beneficial to Tyson Fury, seeing kind of what happened and unfold in Vegas. But um, can you give us a little summary of, of your time in Vegas and how you found sparring with Tyson? All good work. I mean, um, I remember my first spar with him, I thought he's, he's a bit different. You can't really get his style anywhere else. No one can replicate his style. You're only going to get it sparring him. And um, he likes to do a little one-two touch. And I thought, yeah, I'm saying these are all things I'm not really used to. But as time goes on, you start to suss them out a bit more. You start to start to figure out his style. You kind of know what sort of shots are going to come. But, I mean, he's awkward. He keeps you guessing all the time. And he keeps you thinking. If you ain't got a, a high boxing IQ, you're going to get caught and you're going to get put away. So, yeah. Obviously, a lot was made of kind of Tyson's comments before the fight about what his plans were to do to Wilder, which everyone kind of maybe said, oh, it's Tyson talking at the minute. You don't know whether to, to kind of take him literally or, or, or not. But he ended up kind of doing more or less, apart from the round prediction, exactly what he said he was going to do. And Wilder was kind of quite um, negative, should we say, over uh, Tyson's power, calling him, you know, pillow fisted, etc. in the build up to the fight. But from a power perspective, um, can you kind of explain w what that's like uh, being one of his sparring partners for this? I mean, people don't really think Tyson's got power because he's known for, for his boxing ability. And um, he definitely hits harder than people expect. This is the thing. People don't expect to hit as hard as he actually does. I mean, once you get to a certain weight, when you get to a certain weight, 120 something kilos, you're going to bang hard. Do you know what I mean? Um, I fought it before. He's definitely harder than people expect. So, yeah. Absolutely. So the first time you kind of had a taste of his power, what was your kind of initial thoughts to that? He caught me with a one two in the first round, and I thought, yeah. <laughs> I remember I thought, yeah, and I, and I nodded at him, and I walked forward. It kind of kind of pissed me off a bit, and I thought, all right, cool. I know not to get caught with, with them sort of shots again. So yeah. It's, I mean, for your kind of where you are in your career, very early on, to go out to Vegas to spar for kind of such an elite heavyweight fight is can only kind of help you and benefit you in your career as well, David. Most definitely. I mean, I think the fact that I mix it with these sort of guys now, in such an early stage of my career, come 10 years' time, not even 10, 5 years' time, I would have experienced it, been there, done that, I would have been in there with so many different styles, I would kind of know what to, what to expect from certain people. And um, Tyson himself, he's got such an awkward style, but I can kind of mix it with him. A lot of people ain't going to have the same sort of style as him, so I'll be able to mix with them most definitely. Um. So obviously, all you guys are like there was guys like George Fox out, obviously in camp, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And when you guys are aspiring Tyson, but are you guys kind of? Do you have spars with each other as well? Do the sparring partners spar each other? So we all I asked for the work in the first week. There's a few obviously everyone else is a heavyweight. I'm like, you know what? Let me get in there with them. But yeah, um, the team behind Tyson was just like, look, you guys can't spar each other. And um, obviously we assume they don't want no one getting injured. Yeah, they don't want me knocking out the other sparring partners, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, I don't blame them, so yeah. yeah no, I always did wonder that, because obviously you're there primarily for a job, but then I suppose why would kind of Tyson then yeah, risk you guys kind of use getting cuts and, and not being able to kind of continue to spar when you obviously your main reason of going there is to spar Tyson. So that obviously makes sense in that respect. But um, yeah, on to the next one. And uh, yeah, opponent-wise, a bit too early to kind of find that out. No, I've got an opponent. Oh, okay. Yeah, they gave me an opponent. Um, I mean, I don't want to say his name because before my debut, my opponent's pulled out so many times. So, um, but yeah, they, they gave me an opponent. From what I know, it should be a sort of, sort of an interesting story as to why I got this opponent. 
And um, but yeah, I'll let you know closer to the fight. Hopefully, you don't pull out. So yeah, I kind of get that as well because at this stage, kind of in your early fights opponents do chop and change and that's just part of parcel of, of boxing here so yeah all right when you can reveal that story to us you let us know yeah no most definitely regardless of who it is they're going to get knocked out anyway so yeah it'll be real good it'll be real good all right well listen david thank you very much for giving us a little bit of time and uh we'll definitely catch up with you ahead of april the 11th at the o2 most definitely most definitely thank you